Well, good morning or afternoon or good evening. It's December the 17th and you may be thinking, well, what's Christmas all about? It's so busy, people shopping frantically. Well, just always remember Jesus is the reason for the season. And on that note, Rebecca and Blake are doing the reading for us. Maybe you wonder why is the children not doing it anymore? Because we're into the adult season now. So the adults are going to be doing the reading from now on. So God bless. Okay, so we've got Numbers chapter 24, verse 17. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of all the people of Sheth. So tonight I'm reading from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. The Magi visit the Messiah. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Well, thank you, Blake and Rebecca, for that, for that reading. And don't you just love this moment here, the Magi, wise men traveling afar, and then they finally get there. And what do they see? They see a baby. You think of the love of God, you know, what is it when you get there? You know, we think about the cross and rightly so, and we think about the resurrection, Jesus in this, uh, in glory with the eyes of fire and the feet of bronze. But when you picture him here as a baby, it, all this love is packaged up. It makes him so available, doesn't it? It makes him so approachable. It makes, him, makes you feel like he really does want you to come close to him. It, like a baby can barely, a baby's not going to say, no, don't touch me, you know. A baby's almost begging to be hold and be, to be cuddled. And could you imagine that? These men would have got to hold Jesus. These men would have got to cuddle Jesus. And it must have been such an amazing experience. And how did they get there? The, the, Jesus drawed them. They, they said, we saw his star and we've come to worship him. And that's what Jesus does. He draws each one of you. Jesus wants, you, wants to be found today. He wants you to, to, to know where he is. He's not playing hide and seek. He's, he's done everything. He's arranged the heavens and the earth so that you will find him. The Bible tells us that he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him. God marked out the place where you would live so that you would find Jesus. It's no mistake you live near Bethel. It's no mistake that this church is here. That you would be able to come and say like these wise men, Where is the one born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and we have come to worship him. Imagine people coming to church in Bethel and saying that. We, we saw his star. We've seen it. We've, we know he's here. And we just want a closer look now. And the reason we want a closer look is we've come to worship him. This one who will restore everything. And look what it says. It's during the time of King Herod. Who cares about Herod? And maybe that, that in your life, this, this other king who wants to say he's got dominion, this other king who says he rules this land. No, this is the king of kings who's going to lay down his life for each one of us. He is the one, the Bible says, that he's going to restore everything. This king is the one who's going to sort out everything in my life. All the mess, all my difficulties, all my fears and hopes are, are met in him. He's the one. The, uh, who deserves my praise. He's the one that deserves my adoration. He's the one that I've come to worship. And I encourage you today, follow that star today. Follow it and, and look up and gaze upon Christ and come to worship. Imagine these men, picture the scene, they've coming in and they're 
sitting bowing down to this baby. They're sitting praising all their affections, all their heart is just being poured out and just so thankful because they know that this baby is going to grow up and die on a cross for their sins. That he's going to become a man and he's going to show an eternal love at that moment. This cute little baby is going to grow up and he's going to show this great love on the cross for you and for me. And nobody else takes that place. Nobody else deserves that worship. He is worthy of all that worship because he is the one who delivers me from the hand of the enemy. And think to yourself, how can we reject this love? How can we reject this self, such a great salvation? And it, 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 it stirs in us. It, it requires of us this response of worship and gratitude. Thank you so much, Jesus, for dying for me. Thank you so much that you not only died for me, that you're willing to be born as a baby. You're willing to be born small and to grow and to live the life that I have lived. And you know everything. You sympathize with all my weakness. You know what it's like to be a child and you can help every child go through every problem, whether bullying or struggling. You know what it is. You feel and you're aware of my feelings, you're aware of my sorrows and you're understanding me. How can I not come but worship? Of course I will follow the star. Of course these men will go on this long journey because when they arrive, they gaze upon their help. They gaze upon their salvation. He is the one. Forget King Herod. Forget it's the time of Herod. This is the time of Christ. This is the time of salvation. And I can imagine these men just looking and just marveling, just drooling as it were, just, just hearts expanded with love because of what he has done. So today, let that be your question. Where is the one born? I have come to worship him. Where is the one born king of the Jews? That's my king. I've come to worship him. Let your heart just flow with thankfulness this today let it just be filled with just thanks to Jesus worship him worship him right where you are because he deserves all the praise and all the glory for what he has done God bless you